Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmatov, and I want to continue testing Svelte components using Cypress. In our previous two tests, we tested how component renders based on the properties that were passed. The last test that we want to work on clicks on the button and then make sure that the component dispatches an event to remove back to the parent component. So how do we do this using Cypress Svelte unit test? So we're going to mount the same way using uh, our mount that comes from Cypress Svelte unit test. And when we mount, we don't have to pass just for properties, we also have to pass callbacks. In this case, we, for message remove, we're going to pass a size tab and we're going to give it uh, alias remove because it will make it very simple to get the arguments for a call from the component back to the test. So we, not, we don't need to do this, we just have to say, oh, we, we are firing an event using sub test ID. So we're going to select it using data test ID equals to do remove, which is an attribute on a HTML element. And once we get it, we're going to click. And let's make sure that this works correctly. So we, we mounted the component and it clicked on the right button. And we can see that our stop was actually called correctly and there is a single call. So now let's make sure that the call happens to have the right to do ID. So we're going to get the same alias as the stop. We're going to make an assertion called, it should be called once, which is correct. And now we want to get to the first argument of a first call. So this is just a property on an object first call, which is a synon object args and now I don't particularly remember what's inside the argument so I have to pop DevTools and click on the command and it yields what was actually right there the result of this command so in this case we can see that this was an array with a custom event which is what is fired by the component so in this case we can see it has a bunch of properties and the detail is what we're trying to get to so what we have to get is from the array we'll get the element at index 0 and then detail right. and at this point it yields a value and this value should be equal to the to do id should equal to do id and it is correct so we just confirmed that when we create a component and, so, and the user clicks on the remove button we get notified by a message and the message with detail is the right to do ID to remove. 